back to my channel. Welcome back to this week's vlog. I just filmed my Wednesday video, which tends to be the beginning of all my vlogs, I feel like, every week, because I'm like, I got a vlog, check in with my people. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. This week's vlog is going to be all about wellness. I thought this was a really good idea, and I thought that since it's officially November, that it would be a really good time to share wellness tips that have worked for me, just like over like throughout my life that I've done, but also like recently in the last like three, four months since having Logan, wellness th tips that have really, really worked for me and helped for me. So I'll be taking you through my week as usual vlogs, but mostly focusing on what I do for wellness throughout the week. So it is Tuesday. I wasn't able to vlog yesterday because it was just, Mondays are always crazy. I always feel like I'm catching up too much. So I was, I'm trying to think what I did yesterday. I did do my workout class. So we'll get into this later in the vlog about workout tips that are or ways that I stay motivated and look forward to workouts. We'll talk about that a little later. The first thing I want to share and talk to you about is water intake. This is one of the most basic simple quick things that you can do literally right now to just make yourself feel better literally look better just water i try and drink two of these a day i will link this water bottle for you guys below it's massive it's not necessary the rule of thumb i like to use is to drink your body weight i think it's either your body weight in ounces per day or double that anyway this is 64 ounces i like to do two of these I usually make it through like one and a half, but this water bottle just allows me to drink so much. I don't know if it's the straw. I don't know if it's because I only have to fill it up like once or twice a day, but I just love it. So water intake is going to help with your hair, skin, and nails. It's going to help with your digestion. It's going to help just your body function. I just feel like so many people forget about water and they're like, oh, why does my skin look like crap? Or like, why am I tired? Or all these things. And it's like, usually water is like, one of the main sources, if you aren't drinking enough water every day, it's just gonna affect your overall health and wellness. So that's the first thing I wanted to mention. I've now been filming for over an hour, so I need to go check in on the baby. Don't worry, Ethan's with him. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So Ethan actually took Logan for a drive while I was filming because he's just been so loud lately, like literally screaming at us, but like in a really funny, like talking way. And he grabbed me a smoothie. I thought this was an important thing to talk about. Logan thinks it's important too in this wellness vlog because truly I don't know how I would get my greens if I didn't drink smoothies regularly. I normally do a smoothie like four or five days a week because I truly don't like vegetables. I don't enjoy how they taste usually. So I don't, I wouldn't get my greens if I didn't do smoothies. So green smoothies are a go-to for me for the week in terms of just like a meal or just something like a snack, just something to make me get the nutrition that I need without grossing me out. Like I don't love salads unless they're really like well-made. And we normally do a vegetable with dinner, but Ethan cooks them really well. Like I just don't enjoy raw vegetables or really vegetables in general. So green smoothies are go-to, I had to mention that. This one we just got from our local juice place and that's way better than what I can make, but I do make them at home most of the time. What's up guys, good morning. I just had my breakfast, did my skincare, and I'm having my coffee. I wanna show you guys what I make for breakfast every morning because I definitely feel like getting in the habit of eating a super healthy breakfast and starting my day healthy has helped me with like overall wellness and like staying on track for the rest of the day in terms of eating because like when I wake up and I start with like a bagel or something unhealthy, it makes it a lot easier or a lot harder to eat healthy for the rest of the day. So I wanna show you what I make for breakfast. It's super easy, it's just eggs, but I also always have my coffee and this is the Chobani cold brew. I do this with unsweetened vanilla almond milk and one little teaspoon of sugar and it is so freaking good. Mm. If I'm not doing this, I'm usually doing Dunkin' iced coffee with almond milk and one sugar. I just think it's important in the mornings to have ways to like set your intentions for the day. I get up at like all hours of the night cause I have Logan and when you're really exhausted, sometimes you wake up and you're just like, I just want comfort. I just want something like really delicious. It's gonna make me feel better. But I end up feeling worse after I eat something like that, like a breakfast sandwich or something like that. So I've gotten in the habit of every morning making my eggs and fruit. And I just think it makes a world of a difference for the rest of my day. It makes me wanna work out. It makes me feel good and like light, but full in the morning. And for the rest of the day, it's awesome. Sometimes I'll also do a waffle. I'll show you guys my waffles. Let me show you right now what I usually do. 
All right, so I'm not gonna show you my eggs. I normally do two eggs in a bowl with stuff with a little bit of whole milk, and then I will pour it on the pan, do salt and pepper, and a little bit of grated cheese, like or shredded, whatever, like mozzarella, whatever I have, because I don't love eggs by themselves, but I know that they're so healthy and like such good protein for me, so I feel like they're necessary, but I don't love how eggs taste, so that was hard for me to start doing, but I find that like a little bit of cheese makes a world of a difference. And then I just do some fresh blueberries and strawberries. Sometimes I will also do a Kodiak waffle if I want like more carbs in the morning, like maybe I'm doing a double, like I did a double yesterday. I usually do my two workouts in one day on Tuesdays. And so I usually need a little bit more in the mornings when I'm doing that. So these are the Kodiak Power Waffles. They are so good, you guys. They are 12 grams of protein. And I don't have to feel guilty about eating these, but I'll usually just have one. I think these are the really big ones that actually like, I have one saved here. They're like this size, so they're nice and big. I usually just do honey on top instead of maple syrup, but here's the nutritional info. They're delicious and they come in all different flavors. These are blueberry, but they have chocolate chip. They have regular, just like plain. Um, and I think they have other flavors too, but we love the blueberry. I think these are chocolate chip, but so that is just a great additional thing. Okay, and then here is my coffee. I am obsessed with this cold brew. It is so good. Like I said, I just do a little almond milk and sugar, and that is my morning coffee. All right, guys, so it's 3.20. I am behind on my water. I've only drank half of this guy today, so I'm gonna try and catch up right now. I am taking some supplements, my vitamins, and I will get my, oh no, five second roll. I will get my supplements so I can show you. So I've been taking Sparkle Fiber from Love Wellness. They have a bunch of different supplements that are awesome. Boom. And then I have Ritual. These are prenatals. I'm getting a postnatal. So Ritual makes a postnatal, which I'm very excited about because obviously I'm postpartum. So that's cool. I've also been kind of dabbling with this one, Bye Bye Bloat, also from Love Wellness. Check out their supplements. They're super clean. I really love them. And yeah, I'm gonna pop these right now. <laughs> I'm actually really good at swallowing pills. Hidden talent. Then, what's up, buddy? Really? Okay, and then these Premier Protein are so good. Easiest lunch to just grab. Let me close my medicine cabinet. When I don't have time to make a smoothie, I'll just grab one of these and it's 30 grams of protein, 160 calories. I think it's one gram of sugar. These are so awesome. Have good vitamins and stuff in them, so I love these. Okay, so I'm currently on my way to class. I wanted to hop on and share because I think it's really important to find, just in general, find a workout that you love, whatever it may be, Pilates, yoga, walking, running, HIIT workouts, like try, I think trying every type of workout and figuring out what you love is so important because the way you stay consistent with working out is not dreading it and doing something that you actually look forward to. So that's where I'm at. I'm so happy I found this studio near my new apartment, you guys. It has been honestly life-changing, especially postpartum, because the idea of going to a gym or doing at-home workouts is just miserable to me at this point and like classes are like where it's at for me in my brain I'm gonna be late as usual so I'm so happy I found these classes they're just like they're amazing and I look forward to it so I just thought that was like a nice added tip in terms of wellness that maybe you guys can take like try as many workouts as you can and find one that you love and then once you love it you look forward to it like I had a crazy day just with Logan I had Logan all day by myself and I was working and I was just like really really stressed and like kind of broke down a little bit <laughs> and I'm looking forward to going because I'm gonna get some endorphins I'm gonna feel good and I'm gonna be like in a new headspace when I'm done so I'll check in with you guys after or I'm gonna try and bring you guys in there and get a little footage because it's so awesome so I'm just sitting down to have a little breakfast and I am treating myself, hello. Oh my God. Do you hear him? I am treating myself because I was great all week and I feel like this is a key to wellness and maintaining like motivation. Guys, I can't grab it. Is treating yourself. 
I'm about to put this face mask on and sit down and chat with you guys about um, my last few wellness tips, but I wanted to show you which mask I'm using. The Purity Pore Exfoliator Clay Mask is so good. It just like really flushes your pores out and I just, I really need that right now. I feel like my skin's kind of a mess after I had some wine last night. And then I actually went on with this one already this morning, like right when I woke up, cause I felt like my skin was super dehydrated. So I love both of these. I'll link them for you guys. Below. So I swear I'm not gross. My sink like does this. Like what? Sometimes it just like does that. It's like the water is hard or something. Not cool. Okay, I don't mean to scare you, but we're doing a face mask. I realized that these types of like moments are super important for me to have. Like if I just feel like, you know, my skin's not doing well or I just feel like blah, I feel like when I put a face mask on, it's just a very much a me moment. Like a nice hot shower, wash my hair, face mask on. I've actually had this mask on too long, so I need to take it off in a minute, but I wanted to mention that as just a reminder or a tip for wellness, self-care is a big part of that. And yeah, I'm just a huge proponent of face masks, hair masks, like the small little things, getting your nails done, a pedicure, just like taking a step away and doing something for you. And then going back to what I was talking about this morning about the bagel. So last night, this whole week has been crazy. So I can finally tell you guys, I'm launching a podcast with my best friend. It will, the first episode will be up on Tuesday. So two days from when this vlog is live. So it has just been an insane week. It's actually just been an insane month for just partnerships that I was working on and like getting a podcast like fully up and running. Uh, clearly I've never done this, like just learning as we go. So it's just been crazy. Yesterday was especially crazy because a couple of partnerships, the deadlines got moved up because of different, you know, whatever. I won't get into it. So I had to shoot two campaigns yesterday, plus get a bunch of podcast stuff done and announced, announced like that the podcast is a thing. I announced that yesterday or no, today, this morning. Sorry, Ethan distracted me. We have a naked boy. <laughs> um, anyway, so as I was saying, posted the announcement today. So last night at the end of the day, I, I just looked at Ethan and I was like, I think we both need a glass of alcohol because <laughs> we were just like, we, we, we just had a lot going on this whole week and yesterday especially. So the reason I'm mentioning this is because going back to what I was saying about the bagel, I think it's very important and essential to treat yourself. So we had a couple glasses of wine. We ordered sushi. We just relaxed last night and like totally checked out. And then this morning got myself bagel. Like I'm really going for it. I also took the day off from working out because I realized I hadn't taken a day off in a really long time. And I was in class yesterday and I was kind of dying. And I was like, I think my body just needs a break. Like I just haven't been giving myself a break. It's really important for your mind, but also like your muscles to recover. So as much as I'm a proponent in like staying motivated and staying on top of your fitness and eating healthy and all of that, I still think it's really important to take days off and do little things to treat yourself just so you can stay motivated. Because the thing is, if I'm just eating like perfectly healthy 24 seven, it makes it much harder for me to stay motivated to go to workout classes because I don't like now that I've had this bagel, I'm like, okay, I'm signing up for class tomorrow. And I feel, and like wine and everything last night, like I'm motivated to like go to the gym and like get back on track, you know what I'm saying? So I hope that's helpful. Also, always drinking my water bottle. I already told you guys about this, but so, 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 so important. So I think that's like the majority of my wellness tips for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. It was a little bit different than usual. I kind of liked how I was able to just like focus on one thing, like one specific thing, like in my life that obviously focusing on too because it's postpartum instead of just kind of showing you everything about my life you're in a cute outfit and then if you just want to be really happy you could just hang out with the boy he's probably scared of me with the mask on scared of me do you know who i am look at me do you know who i am <laughs> yeah this is my number one wellness tip <laughs> this guy okay i'm gonna go wash this off because my face is barely moving i think i'm scaring my child Am I scaring you? I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog, and I will see you next time. Ah. <laughs> Bye.